EIE Instruments Private Limited Presence Method to find out calorific value of a substance by Bohm calorimeter. Introduction Calorific value is the amount of energy produced by the complete combustion of a unit weight of material or unit volume of a fuel. The unit of the calorific value is generally expressed as kilocalorie per kilogram or calorie per gram. The calorie or gram calorie is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram pure water from 14.5 degrees Celsius to 15.5 degrees Celsius by 1 degree Celsius. A bomb calorie meter is a type of constant volume calorie meter which is used to find out calorific values of substance like coke, coal, glucose, sucrose or a liquid fuel like petrol, diesel, oil or other similar material. Principle A sample is weighed and placed in a heavy duty stainless steel cylinder which is referred as bomb. The bomb is then sealed with the oxygen along with the sample. The sample is ignited electrically. The complete burning and oxidation of a compound releases the heat and the heat is measured through the temperature change of the water bath surrounding the bomb. A digital temperature indicator measures the rise of temperature due to combustion. And from the rise of temperature, the calorific value is determined. Apparatus Apparatus consists of a bomb of approximately internal volume of 300 cc made of stainless steel calorie meter vessel made of copper chromium plated water jacket stainless steel highly polished to eliminate the effect of external temperature change on the temperature in the calorie meter stirrer driven with motor firing unit with digital temperature indicator with resolution of 0.01 degree Celsius. Oxygen pressure gauge on a stand with fine adjustment cock and pressure pipes to connect oxygen cylinder and bomb. A stainless steel crucible. Ignition wire 6 cm long of about 0.1 mm diameter. Cotton thread having a length of 10 cm. Pellets press for making the solid pellets. The bomb head support. Single pan balance or electronic balance of 0.1 mg resolution. Oxygen cylinder with regulator is required to conduct the test. Benzoic acid. Scissors, screwdriver and plier are required tools to carry out the test. Procedure. We will carry out procedure in two steps. One. Finding out the effective heat capacity with benzoic acid. 2. Finding out the calorific value of sample. Step 1. First of all, standardize the bomb calorie meter by determining effective heat capacity with benzoic acid, which is having known calorific value. Effective heat capacity of bomb calorie meter is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of setup by 1 degree Celsius. The effective heat capacity of calorie meter is determined by known calorific value of benzoic acid. The benzoic acid should be dried and heated 5 degree Celsius above its melting point of 121 degree Celsius. Preparation of the sample and assembly of the bomb. The benzoic acid is pressed in the pellet press and approximately a pellet of 1.2000 gram is prepared and accurately weighed in the analytical balance nearest to 0.1 milligram. Also, weigh the crucible to the nearest 0.1 milligram and place the prepared pellet into the crucible. The ignition wire of 6 cm length or 5 mg weight is connected at both the pole of the bomb and 
bottom thread of 60 mg or 10 cm length is looped surrounding the pellet which is connected to ignition wire. Put 1 ml of distal water in the bomb with the help of pivot. Now, place the crucible with sample, ignition wire and cotton in the bomb and close the lid of the bomb gently. Thereafter, charge the bomb with the oxygen to a pressure of 30 kg per centimeter square. Simultaneously, close the regulator valve as soon as required pressure is attained. Now, place the bomb in the calorie meter vessel and transfer the calorie meter vessel in the water jacket of the bomb calorie meter. Put sufficient water in the calorie meter vessel to cover the flat upper surface of the bomb cap. Approximately 2000 milliliter of water is required to cover the top of the bomb. Maintain this quantity of water in every test. The temperature of the water shall be about 2.5 degrees lower than that of the water jacket. Now, connect the bomb and firing unit with the help of paired wire. Close the cover of the jacket and place the stirrer motor on its place. Also, insert the temperature sensor of the digital temperature indicator. Now, on the panel of the firing unit and start the stirrer. Ensure the closed circuit of the ignition wire by observing LED. Read the temperature on the display and allow to stabilize the temperature for not less than 10 minutes. As soon as the temperature is stabilized and remains steady, press the set key and read the lower display 0.00 degrees Celsius. Note down the initial temperature too is equal to 0.00 degrees Celsius. Press the push button switch for few seconds for fire and observe the increment in temperature value in lower display. Observe the rise of the temperature to the maximum value. Allow to stabilize and as soon as the temperature starts to decrease, note down the maximum rise of the temperature. As for example, rise of the temperature is 2.48 degrees Celsius. Remove the stirrer motor and sensor from the top of the vessel and also remove the lid. Remove the bomb from the calorie meter vessel. Release the pressure by pressing the release valve and dismantle the bomb. Some corrections are required to determine final value of effective heat capacity. Now, calculate the nitric acid correction as follows. First of all, prepare the solution of 0.1 normal sodium carbonate by dissolving 5.2996 grams sodium carbonate in 1 liter distal water. Wash the bomb approximately with 100 milliliters distal water at all inner side and inner top including crucible and poles of the bomb. Boil the water and allow it to cool to room temperature. Add 2 to 3 drops of methyl red or methyl orange indicator in water and titrate the same with 0.1 normal sodium carbonate solution. Measure the volume of sodium carbonate solution utilized for titration. As for example, it is 6.8 milliliter. Calculation. Here, we will show you calculation with an example. Weight of crucible plus thread is equal to 5.2348 grams. Weight of crucible plus thread plus benzoic acid is equal to 6.4290 grams. Weight of benzoic acid is equal to 1.1942 grams. Rise of temperature is equal to 2.48 degrees Celsius. Calorific value of benzoic acid at 30 degrees Celsius is equal to 6,319 calorie per gram. Heat liberated A by benzoic acid having mass M of 
1942 grams multiplied by 6319 calorie per gram is equal to 7546.15 calorie volume of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution for titration is equal to 6.8 ml add nitric acid correction b is equal to 1.43 calorie per milliliter multiplied by 6.8 milliliter is equal to 9.7 calories add correction for heat of ignition that is c calculated as follows calorific value of nichrome wire for 1 milligram is equal to 4.180 calories weight of nichrome wire is equal to 5 milligram so total calorific value of nichrome wire is equal to 20.9 calories calorific value of cotton thread for 1 milligram is equal to 0.335 calories for 60 milligrams cotton thread calorific value is equal to 0.335 calories multiplied by 60 milligrams is equal to 20.1 calories so add total correction for heat ignition that is C is equal to 41 calories 1 total heat release is equal to A plus B plus C which is equal to 7596.85 so effective heat capacity is equal to total heat release upon rise of temperature which is equal to 7596.85 calories upon 2.48 degrees Celsius which is equal to 3063.24 calories per degree Celsius thank you wishing you an accurate testing please visit us at www.eieinstruments.com